Inside-out tracking headsets are popular because they're easy to use. However, they've always had problems with scaling. That is, they have trouble estimating distance. Luckily, Vive has a solution, marker-based drift prevention. This feature enhances the headset scaling ability by providing it with a reference for the actual distance between the headset and elements of the environment. In this video, we'll show you how to set up marker-based drift prevention for your headset and play area. Let's start by creating your markers. In the marker generator, select drift prevention as the function for your primary marker and then enter other details such as marker ID and size. Make sure not to enter a marker ID you've already used for marker-based scene alignment. Enter an ID and size for the secondary marker and then specify the distance between the two markers. You can use multiple pairs of markers if needed. Just make sure to remember the distance relationships defined for each pair of markers. Click Generate. The marker settings will be exported as a JSON file. The folder containing the JSON file will also include a PNG version of the marker for you to print out and put up in your play area. Save the JSON file to your phone. You'll need to retrieve it later when creating your tracking map. Now we can move on to setting up the play area. Print out the markers according to the sizes specified in the marker generator. Place the markers in the play area at the specified distances. Measure the distance between two markers from the top left corner of one marker to the top left corner of the other marker. We recommend placing the markers diagonally opposite to one another to optimize drift prevention. Markers set for drift prevention are also set for marker-based relocation by default. If you don't need to use marker-based relocation, you can remove the markers from the play area after creating your tracking map. Now that the play area is ready, open your computer's web browser and go to Vive Business Plus. Enroll the headset in Vive Business Plus by scanning a QR code. Create a batch configuration package for LBE mode and select Drift Prevention. Then save it to the cloud. Create a group and assign the configuration package to it. Assign your headset to the group. The headset will apply the settings and restart automatically. The final step is to create a tracking map for the headsets. Pair the primary headset with the Vive Manager mobile app and then use the app to create an LBE tracking map. Import the JSON file you saved to your phone after creating your marker. Follow the on-screen instructions to fully scan the play area. Make sure to include every marker while scanning. After creating your tracking map, you can use Vive Business Plus to share the map with other headsets. Now that tracking accuracy has been improved, you can focus on enjoying your virtual experience. For more information about setting up marker-based drift prevention, follow the link in the description.